Pixel, 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 Google Pixels. They think they're so pixel perfect with their, oh, it's the pure Android experience, but guess what? I got something to tell you. Pixels have been far from perfect these past couple years, all right? The 3A was nice, the 4A is okay. 5A, great. 5A with 5G, pretty good. Six comes out, I don't know how I feel about this. This is a tensor, cool, it's, got, it's cool that they got their new chip, but really what's happening here is we see potentially the downfall of the Pixel A series. The Pixel 6a, as I, as I implied there, I've been a big fan of Pixels. I have a Pixel 3, I'm still rocking it. This was a great phone until it started dying. So I was really excited that, you know, the Pixel, there was gonna be an A series version of the 6 uh, version of the Pixels. And here we are to find out whether it's good or not. Get out of here, I have two phones. Look at that. Do you know what color this is called, Colton? We got- Hold, hold, uh, wait, Sage? <laughs> hold on. Sage and probably some variation of white. I'm gonna Chalk. guess. Chalk. Chalk. The Pixel 6a comes in <laughs> sage, chalk, and charcoal colorway. Thank you, voice from over there. Want me to take the sage? You're doing sage. I'm doing sage. All right, see you later. Even Chalk. though even though I think that the color of your phone does not matter because you should just put a case on it anyways, or a skin. So this is a 6.1 inch display. The thing about the 6a series is that, you know, they promise to kind of like bring it back to the sort of one handable design. Not too bad of a hand feel. Once you put a case on there, that's gonna be annoying, I think for me. Very nice uh, feel in the hand. The weight's good. On the back, we got this glass situation, which is interesting because this phone does not have wireless charging, which is unfortunately, yeah, that's one of the features that they said they had to cut to get down the price from $599 for the Pixel 6 to $449 for the Pixel 6a. Um, and there's a, a few features like that that they cut down, but we'll get to that. First, the exterior of the phone. On the right side, we've got the power button and the volume rocker. On the bottom, we got type C connector and down facing speakers. Um, yes, okay, so on the, Pix on, the, on the 6 Pro, they also have the technically downward facing speakers uh, and then the earpiece counts as the other speaker. So, okay, that's what they're, they're calling that front facing speakers, eh, fine. On this side, we got the SIM card slot. On the top, we just got a mic. And on the back, we have that camera strip that uh, made its debut in the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro originally. This camera bar looks significantly Flatter, right? Yeah, that's quite a bit flatter. Here, look, get that shot. The camera bump is significantly smaller and that's partially because of the downgraded camera specs. For the 6a, they're going back to the same camera that they were using in the previous pixels, which is kind of disappointing to see. It's kind of been the deal with the A series that, you know, the point of getting the A series is that you get mostly the good stuff from the non-A pixel and it, you know, they, they take out some of the unnecessary stuff and they cut down the price a little bit. But for this one, they kind of, they significantly downgraded like the main reason why a lot of people get Pixel phones, which is the camera. Maybe everything's fine and we don't need to worry about anything ever. Oh, no, this is better. Which is like, that makes sense. Oh yeah. Okay, so unsurprisingly, the Pixel 6 Pro's speakers are better than the Pixel 6a speakers. Is that what you wanted? <laughs> They're both uh, pretty good, I gotta say. So I was talking in the beginning a little bit about how the Pixels have been kind of disappointing for me. They have this promise of being the, you know, the one true Android phone, the, the default stock Android experience that's like pure without all the bloat and the bells and whistles you, you don't need from the fancy other things like Samsung and uh, Motorola. There's basically, there's Samsung and then all the Chinese manufacturers, Oppo, Xiaomi, you know, they all have their extra things that they add. And the Pixel line is supposed to be like, this is the real thing. There's been a number of things where they've just kind of been dropping the ball. For one, the camera quality uh, used to be kind of like, Pixels are the best Android cameras you can get. And now Samsung has caught up. A number of other phone manufacturers also make really great phone cameras. And one of the big things about the 6 series in particular is that they took away this amazing rear mounted fingerprint reader 
that was on my Pixel 3. I think the, the 5A had it, the 4A had it, I think. They could still have it on the back. I don't know why they didn't put it on the back. I mean, glass, they want the glass back, I guess. So they did the un underscreen fingerprint reader like the other phone companies are doing, but it was a bit slower. I set up my fingerprint on both the 6 Pro and the 6A. Let's see how she does. So this is the 6 Pro. Wow, okay, yeah, that is a little bit slow, I'd say. Is this a little bit faster? That felt about the same to me. But we are gonna learn other stuff in this video, including who's sponsoring it, Vulture. Vulture provides high performance cloud servers, bare metal, storage, and managed Kubernetes at a fraction of the cost of big tech. In less than 60 seconds, you can bring your own ISO or deploy Windows or Linux from over 25 server locations worldwide for low latency infrastructure wherever needed. Also, there's Vulture Talon Cloud GPU, allowing devs to deploy fractions of virtualized NVIDIA A100s to handle even the most advanced workloads. Try Vulture today and receive an exclusive 30-day $150 code for new signups at the link below. So as far as I'm aware, there's not really any more uh, UI customizations that Google has made for the Pixel 6a. I mean, it's using the Pixel 6 launcher, which is also used on the 6 uh, and 6 Pro. But, you know, as uh, an avowed Pixel uh, aficionado, I can say it's one of my favorites. Although I am leaning more and more into thinking that like, the fact that it's a stock Android experience is actually maybe not good. Maybe I want all of the cool features that Samsung has like innovated and put into their phones. I mean, they're keeping up with Apple. I wanna talk about the actual specs inside. The 6A is supposed to have the same tensor chip that is found in the 6 and 6 Pro. So you are going to get, you know, those, those cool new features like the magic eraser for the photos and stuff that I looked at in my initial short circuit for the 6 Pro, which was actually really cool. But since then, Samsung has added their own object remover feature or whatever to their phones. So what is Tensor getting us? I don't know. Also only six gigs of RAM in this compared to the eight gigs in the 6 non-Pro. You can get 128 gigs of storage on the 6A, no expansion options. And when it comes to displays, I'm actually pretty surprised to see the downgrade here because the 6 has a 90 Hertz uh, display, AMOLED, HDR10+, and in this one, we got 6.1 inch to the 6.4 in the other pixel, only 60 Hertz, OLED, not AMOLED, and it's got Gorilla Glass 3 instead of Victus. It also can only do 18 watts fast charging as opposed to 30 watts fast charging on the 6. There's a lot of things missing, but let's take a look at the cameras to see whether, you know, I'm freaking out over nothing. Um, okay, interesting. So we have the wide camera here. It says 0. 0.6 times zoom to go to the, the, the wide, which is weird. I can zoom in to the two times. I'm definitely seeing a lot of grain there. The, the 12 megapixel sensor is a, uh, is struggling. Am I gonna use the magic eraser again? Okay, there's a photo. You know, so as much as I talk about, I, now I feel bad, now I feel bad. <laughs> because as much as I talk about, you know, how uh, pixel cameras haven't really kept up and uh, you know, they're not as, as jaw dropping as they used to be, it still takes great photos. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like the pixel, you know, you're not gonna look at the photos and be like, ugh, throw that in the garbage. But at the same time, you know, it's more that uh, the rest of the industry has caught up. I think the colors are there. The sharpness is pretty good. I mean, I can see that like Google's uh, machine learning is doing its stuff. I can definitely tell you I've seen much worse processing and artifacts on uh, on photos from other phones when you zoom all the way in like this. And this is like pretty, pretty decent for, you know, a 12.2 megapixel instead of like the 50 megapixel that you see in a lot of other phones now. Selfie cam. <laughs> okay, all right. I mean, hey, that's looking nice. Pixel, okay, fine, Pixel. You still take pretty good photos. Tools, magic eraser, oh, that was close. <laughs> Because they've been doing this thing where they take away these like the, the more advanced tools unless you pay for Google One. And that's a whole thing. I don't wanna get into that. Circle the plant. <laughs> Wait, what? Did I not complete the circle? Do I have to like do this to the whole thing? Oh, there we go. Oh, did you see that? It just like selected. It was like, yeah, that whole squiggle you all did, you just need to like tap it. Okay, let's take the whole shelf away. 
Okay. I mean, that, honestly, that that looks similar to to the result I got last time. Oh, I didn't want it. Whoops. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Magic Eraser performance seems to be on par using my extremely non-empirical uh, test I just made up just now. Uh, the, the 6A is the first A-series phone from Google to not have a headphone jack. It used to be one of the main reasons why you would consider this is because you know not everyone had made the switch to the Bluetooth uh, earbuds yet. So there's no headphone jack. They decided, all right, the the game is up. No more, no more of that. I, you know, at 4.49, I just don't know because I've been looking at the Galaxy A53, and that's looking pretty nice. That the A53 with 5G just came out in March, I think. It also has IP67, so it's like, okay, you know, not quite there yet. But it has a 5,000 milliamp hour battery compared to the 44. 100 milliamp hour battery in the 6A. It's got Gorilla Glass 5 on the front instead of Gorilla Glass 3. And it's got an SD card slot so you can add extra storage if you want to. Oh, and I didn't even see that its main camera is 64 megapixels instead of 12.2 megapixels. And of course, megapixels aren't everything, but Samsung's camera software has been, like I said, keeping up with, with, uh, with the Pixel, so. The Pixel 6A still is an option for people who don't wanna spend the 599 for the full six or the 899 for the six pro. And if you, you know, if you're in that Pixel family and you wanna stay there, the 6A is here and it's, it's you know, it's not horrible. I, we have obviously haven't done like full tests on it. Parents Apparently the battery is okay. It can last up to 72 hours with extreme battery saver uh, is what is what they claim. But considering the state of the market and what else is out there, I'm not sure whether 449 is a you know compelling enough price just so you can say that you have a Pixel when the A53 5G exists and when a ton of other mid-range phones with flagship specs. The Nothing Phone just came out and it's 399 euros, which is right now is the same, uh, as on par with the USD. So the Nothing Phone is out and it's got killer, like, well, kill, I don't know, but the price to performance is there. It's $50 cheaper. It's at least got a cool back on it. And this one is, what, what is this, Sage? <gasps> I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm just, I'm in this place where I need to buy a new phone. My Pixel 3 has, the, the back camera's messed up and they're not really fixing that under warranty anymore. I looked on iFixit, they don't have the screen I could grab for it. It's not charging. I'm looking for an upgrade and I'm looking at the 6A and I'm just kind of like, why would I go for you when I can get the A53 5G that does a lot of the same things uh, for the same price and more and has better specs? I don't know. I just always get confused about what Google is trying to do with their Pixel project. They say that they, wanted it to be sort of like this gold standard for Android, you know? Especially, you know, especially given the news about Pixel phones suffering from hardware uh, issues. I don't know if I wanna take the gamble on the 6A. Whether it's Sage or Chalk, you're gonna, it's gonna crack. It's, it's only Gorilla Glass 3, it's not Victus. You need Victus. <laughs> and you should also subscribe to Short Circuit, the channel where e everyone's having fun all, all the time. Colton was here and he left. <laughs> I don't know why. Subscribe to their Just Movies podcast. Love you. <laughs>